This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. two ago that I first saw Beato and Retro talking about like kind of thinking about using the wrong strings and the kind of revelation for those guys that eight maybe had some tonal qualities now for me I have to say that I'm not feeling like necessarily the the difference that I'm noticing is in tone but I changed these strings last week and I did a video on kind of first impressions and I, I reached out to some of you guys on Instagram to see what you thought and I got some comments back like you, no chance from Cy, no from Sam Brox, um, for flossing from Jake, no but that's a really cool guitar, this is an ash body, it is an ash body, yeah. Then there were some interesting comments like Deep Jim Pat said it's usually the cheapest bag of weed. But yeah, the question that I asked was uh, anyone tried using eights? If so, why? Um, so cheapest bag of weed for Jim. Uh, I had John plays the guitar. John. All right. Easier to bend, easy vibrato. Never get any hand straight. BB King to Billy Gibbons said, "Why are you working so hard?" And I think this is actually the key to this. Now you probably find that one of your favourite players probably uses eights. There's a bunch that I didn't know about. Alan Holdsworth, I did know. Ingve, I think I'd heard but forgotten. But Ingve, I think has amazing tone, amazing touch. Crazy vibrato, um, and uh, BFW Nat said, according to Ingve, to get that shiny vibrato. Lewis Cohen from the UK said, I use the YJM strings, kind of eights on the top, tens on the bottom, perfect blend. So you get kind of that mixture of for your chord stuff, which is what I'm noticing that my touch is maybe for the chords a little bit I don't know, harder to intonate in some ways. So you could blend between eights and that. Isaac said it meant I need had to be really delicate when I played and I liked the challenge, so that's pretty cool. Miguel, S. Miguel said uh, I'd change from 52 to 10s to 9s and I'll try 8s because of Beato. Um, Rory A. Green, who essentially is playing like jazz on a strat, uses 12s and I think those are flat wounds now. Um, 
But I think the thing that I'm really noticing is that bends and stuff like that, which is not necessarily something you do loads of in jazz, so I guess for that. Um, Dimitri said, never tried them. I just switched tens to nines from a strat and it feels weird. It definitely does feel different. Um, Cooper Wire said, I use 9.5. Um, Marco says, I use nines a half step down. I've been struggling with tender nights for a long time and it helps a lot. And this is the real key, I think. So Paramedic Pete said, um, I went through a stage of using eights, message in DMs. And so a couple of people said about medical issues. Paramedic Pete had a really good point, if you're watching Paramedic Pete. Um, so I just wanted to read you kind of what he said. So he's a paramedic in London. Um, I went through a stage of using eight gauge strings. I recall seeing a video of Alex Hutchings use them and he mentioned that it made things easier. I had to agree. Since I only played at bedroom volumes, I couldn't really tell a great deal of difference with tone either. Fast forward a few years and I'm on tens. The biggest advantage to me is that I feel my fingers can get better under the string and I now prefer the increased tension. That being said, Ingve Beato, Gibbons, they swear by eights. I do wonder whether there is an, an audible difference in tone at louder volumes. Ultimately, they felt great and I'd recommend them to anyone who wishes to experiment or anyone who has injury, tendonitis, arthritis. So I said, you're a paramedic. What do you know? And then... He asked again, do you notice a, a massive difference in tone? I didn't. And I have to say, I don't. Um, and then I asked, this might be a serious question, would there be any sense in dropping down with the idea of injury prevention in mind? And he said, absolutely. Whilst it's a different discipline, I've read studies on piano players reducing string tension on pianos for that very reason. I believe Andy Timmons once did it too when he was in Danger Danger, dropped from to eights from nines. Um, uh, what's his face from Deep Purple and Dixie Dregs, which I guess is uh, Steve Morse. And there's another young buck called Jason Richardson who did the same. Evidently, he wrote a song called Tendonitis. The research suggests that reduction in tension, a light touch, and even a change in posture can all help with RSI and tendonitis. I think most of it stems from fretting too hard, executing aggressive bends and fast slash hard picking. It's most common in the Virtual 6 style player. Camera's run out of battery. Let's change the angle. Um, uh, yeah, the trick is to listen to your body and allow your wrists and your fingers to recover and to warm up. Some say supplements help, although it's something I never do or I don't get much to, chance to play because of, to, of the uh, demands and hours of my job. So that was really helpful from, from Peter, I guess. And so that's the thinking there, really. And that's, I think, something I'm bearing in mind because like Ingve and Alan Holdsworth, I think are two players in my mind that haven't really dropped off in terms of like, like there are some players where you can clearly see that their hands don't work the same as when they were younger. And, you know, we talk about someone like Steve Ray Vaughan, Jimi Hendrix and people like that or whatever, like Stevie Ray Vaughan died when he was my age. Like, so I think beyond your thirties is when these things start to, to make more of a difference. I think John, John plays guitar also saying uh, something similar like he grew up playing in, in thrash bands and had some tendonitis and stuff like that and so he plays with eights as well and so I think there's a real argument here I don't know against this idea that it's just about you know heavier strings sound better or whatever that wasn't the reason that I've been using them I kind of have used heavier strings because of the kind of st stability of the actual string itself um, but with these lighter strings i'm finding myself being a bit more playful in a in a lot of ways like more bends and so i think
Like you can do way more. It's very easy for me to kind of over apply tension on the string. Like that wouldn't happen so much with tens. Like I can just bend through pressure, and then like these kind of bends on the the thick strings wouldn't really be. Possible at all, which is why they're, they're intonating like uh, crap. I think it feels so good for my legato. It's not. A total deal breaker. But, I, I don't know. If I was having any kind of issues with my hand at this point now, which I'm not, and sometimes I think some of these issues can come from not playing guitar, if you get what I mean. So things that you do outside of playing guitar can really affect it too. So if you've been doing like laboring, a lot of gardening, or um, for instance, when I used to do gigs playing piano, that could really affect the way my left hand felt for a few days. So I think it's about being careful. And I guess if guitar isn't the, the main thing that you're doing, even you know if you've got like a physical job and stuff like that like i knew a, a, a guy who used to thatch roofs and i know a guy who uh kind of was a plasterer sam if you're watching um these guys as well i, I think using heavier strings can develop hand issues just as a f kind of point of what their day job is as well so i'm considering you know maybe maybe i should work less hard on this sort of stuff and at least keep a guitar with eights on it just to keep experimenting with this idea because it might be worth experimenting with further. I, I was thinking like what I'll do is as I get older just start to skate down the, the string gauges but maybe you start this prevention and work less hard younger there might be benefits. I don't know but I thought it was worth talking about because it's changed my mind on some of this stuff and I don't know whether you know if it's for the sake of your fingers, it might be worth it.